Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So following on from my last farmhouse bathroom decor DIY, this is another bathroom decor piece that I plan on having on my shelf. <laughs> so again, it's on my imaginary shelf above my toilet. My plan is two shelves here, a little bit of a wider view of my bathroom. It's really nothing special, but yeah, I want two shelves here once we get new tiles fitted. And yeah, so they're gonna hold a couple of bits on there. One of them being this picture, and the sign I made before is probably going to go on the wall above that. Yeah, if you'd like to see how I made it, carry on watching and we'll get into the video. So everything I'm using for this DIY is right here. I'm using one of these frames that I got from Poundland. This was 25 pence in the sale, come on, bargain. I used the same frame for my um, farmhouse lantern DIY a couple of videos back. And I've got my staple gun, my scissors, I've got some hessian here, I've got some white acrylic paint for the frame, paintbrush for the paint, I've got this leaf garland from the works, I've got my glue gun, extra glue sticks, I've also got these wooden letters that I got from the works, I've now got four packs because I seem to just run out of the letter E and it's frustrating because I have to just buy more packs. But yeah, that's everything I am going to use for this DIY. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is pop this out of the frame, very, very similar to my lantern DIY. It does pop out quite easily, at least it did. <laughs> and I'm actually going to keep this and I'm going to reverse it when I put it back in so that I've got the brown background. What I'm going to do next is paint the frame with my white acrylic paint. Now I'm going to be quite, um, what's the word? loose with this I don't necessarily want it to be very very neat and opaque I just want like a rough um almost shabby chic look distressed if you like but um I'm not going to be too worried about what it looks like in the end I'm just not going to spend too much time painting the frame my frame painted I have um, gone over it a couple of times with the paintbrush almost to take the paint off again so that it has got that distressed look and I'm gonna leave that to dry and we'll come back that's drying I am just going to pull out these staples that are still in the board it's a bit bit of a tricky one I think I'm gonna have to yeah push them from behind and just pull them out but I don't you don't need to see that I'm just letting you know that that's what I'm doing in case any of you wondered where the staples went to got the staples out and I'm actually gonna back this now in the hessian so that when you look at it that's what you see and I'm just going to wrap that in the hessian and hope that it's it's okay so my hot glue has been happily getting hotter and hotter and I'm just gonna put a dollop on here wrap it over push it into place and then wrap it around the board like so pulling it quite tightly I do want it to be quite tight and I'm just going to hot glue straight through the hessian like so and this will keep it in place I'm going to cut off the excess hessian and then place it back in the frame Right, this might be the tricky part now because it's obviously going to be a little bit bigger trying to get it back into that gap. But I'm going to squish it and hope for the best. And as I go, I am going to staple it in place once I'm happy that it's in with my staple gun. And I'm going to do the same all the way around until I'm happy that that won't ever move. So I've stapled it all the way around, but this is still super messy. So I'm just going to neaten it up with the hot glue gun. going to go around that 
edge. So where I've popped the board back in and stapled it, I'm gonna just reinforce it with hot glue, just so I'm going to, you know, give, give the piece as long a life as possible. I'm now going to place my wreath in the center of this, well, my vine in the center of this to create that farmhouse look. And for that, I am using the same leaf garlands that I used before. And it already comes pretty rolled up to this, almost to the size I want it. So I'm not going to pull it out flat. I'm just going to find the end, she says. <laughs> you know that's not gonna happen easily. I'm gonna find the end and I'm gonna try if I can to keep it in that shape. I don't want it to lose its circular shape. So I'm going to cut it around about here. That's going to give me two circle pieces that I don't have to worry too much about. And then I'm going to hot glue those into place. Gluing this down, I'm gonna to need to be brave. I can't think of a better way to do it. You might have a better way, but I know I want it to be quite central. Yes, I know I want it to be quite central and I know how hard this is to glue down. So I'm actually going to just freehand roughly a circle with the glue and then put it in place and hold it down. It's in the center of the frame. So the next step is really to choose what word I want to go inside. I was thinking um, lots of different words like calm and soak and all of those bathroomy words. I'm really not, um, I'm not really a toilet humor kind of person. I've seen loads of pictures online for the bathroom using the toilet and just yeah I'm not really you know I don't want it to say flush <laughs> if that makes sense so I think I'm going to go with calm or soak I'm gonna I'm gonna see what they both look like in there and then decide so I gave both words a go definitely prefer the word calm to the word soak I don't always soak if <laughs> I definitely always want to be calm, but I don't always want to soak. Sometimes I just want to shower and go. So I am going to put this in the center of here with a rough idea of where I'm going to go with it. Definitely there. So I held the A up just to get an idea. And I'm actually going to keep these letters natural. I'm not going to paint them like my last DIY because I'm also gonna add twine around the edges of the frame. So I feel like it will all tie in together with the hessian and the twine and the natural wooden letters. It will all look a lot more calm, I guess, calm. <laughs> going to start on the back like I always do and just put a dollop of hot glue on the back before you start and it just keeps everything out of sight. No one will ever know how, how messy the back is. it i hope you like it and i hope you see how easy it is to just transform something with just a couple of pounds this really wasn't an expensive project and i just think for a little bit of bathroom decor it's absolutely perfect so thanks for watching and if you like my content please do subscribe and like and definitely comment down below and yeah if you've got me over on instagram come on over and share your makes with me over there i love seeing what everyone else makes absolutely love it yeah, so thanks so much guys. I'll see you in the next video.